Is Air Freight ready for blockchain? Company A is a producer of car spare parts. They are based in Lübeck, 50 miles away from Hamburg. They have global customers. One of them is based in California. The customer urgently needs some spare parts. Company A has decided to fly the spare parts by Air Freight. They have a regular supplier B. This supplier is a freight forwarder and they have global presence. Freight Forwarder B confirms the Air Freight order to the customer A by mail. Freight Forwarder B has an own software to administrate the order. The person in charge keys in the data, but Freight Forwarder B has no own fleet. They contact their subcontractor C by email. Subcontractor C is a transportation company and they have about 10 cars and trucks. They receive the order and put in the data in their own IT system. Unfortunately, they are not able to do the collection at producer A as all their cars are already busy with other orders. Therefore, the dispatcher decides to contact the partner company D who is also a transportation company. Transportation company D has a van nearby Lubeck available and they confirm the order verbally to transportation company C. They kindly ask transportation company C to confirm the collection order by fax. Transportation Company D receives the order from Transportation Company C. They issue an internal order and call the driver E to pick up the goods from producer A with an internal reference. The driver collects the goods in Lubeck. He receives the goods and all necessary paperwork. Freight Forwarder B does not have an own warehouse, but they work with a contractual partner F who is running the warehouse on their behalf. The warehouse holder is specialized in operating warehouses for freight forwarders. Freight Forwarder B sends the order to warehouse operator F, who generates an order on his system. The driver E is driving the air freight pallet to the warehouse F. He signs in at the reception desk and he receives a copy of the order stamped and with a handwritten signature on it. The dispatcher of warehouse F now allocates a ramp to unload the pallet. The driver now drives to the warehouse and he shows the stamped paper to the warehouse manager. He again asks his forklift driver to unload the pallet. Warehouse Handling Company F now issues an order for receiving the pallet and for the internal x-ray department. As this shipment will be flown, there is a need to secure the goods by scanning the shipment. Therefore, another order is issued and the x-ray operation can be processed. The freight forwarder B is now booking the shipment with the airline. Unfortunately, Hamburg does not offer freight capacities to Los Angeles. The freight forwarder decides to send the shipment with other shipments on a flight from Airline G. Airline G is a big airline and they offer daily freight capacities from Frankfurt to Los Angeles. The airline now confirms the order and they key in the data in their own IT system. The airway bill is now issued and the status secured for the x-ray process is confirmed. The warehouse handling company F is now contacting trucking company H. Company H is specialized in the trucking business and they have daily truck rotations between Hamburg and Frankfurt. They book the shipment with the trucking company H and H is issuing an order to transport the goods. In the evening, the truck driver signs in at the reception of warehouse handling company F. He receives the paperwork and a ramp is allocated to him. He loads the pallet with other pallets and drives 350 miles to Frankfurt. Arriving now in Frankfurt, Germany's biggest airport, the driver is stopping at the handling agent of freight forwarder B. Again, freight forwarder B does not operate himself in own warehouse, but he has a contractual handling partner I in Frankfurt. He receives the order from the freight forwarder and he keys in all necessary data into his system. The driver signs in at the goods reception of handling partner I. He gets stamped, the paperwork, and a ramp is allocated to him. After three hours waiting time, there were other trucking companies before him. Company I is unloading the vehicle. The handling partner now consolidates this air freight shipment with other air freight shipments for the flight to Los Angeles. He reports back to freight forwarder B all shipping details. After consolidation, the transportation company J will be contacted. Transportation Company J is specialized in inner airport transportation between the handling agents of the freight forwarding companies and the handling agents of the airline. Transportation Company J is now issuing an order on their system and arrange transportation with either their own drivers or with subcontractor K, who again issues an order for this transportation. The shipment is now delivered to the handling agent of the airline L. The handling agent finally issues the order and delivers to the airline G. The shipment is now ready for carriage. Guess what happens on the other side in Los Angeles after arrival? Yes, exactly the same. Are you confused? The entire logistic world is as well. All in all, there are more than 20 different companies involved and more than 20 orders are written, booked, invoiced, settled, etc, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, any room for blockchain technology?